Hello everyone, this is the Crazy Cycling Blogger, but you probably already know that. Uh, welcome to another one of my cycling blogs. Uh, someone gave the suggestion that I should show my bicycles, and that's a good idea. So on my ride today, I'll be riding my Rocky Mountain Cardiac. This is actually the oldest bike I own. Uh, I bought it, I think, way back in 1997. It's also the least expensive, cheapest bike I own, and funny how it ends up being the most reliable bike I own. Um, I rarely ever have problems with it. It's always available and ready to ride, um, basically because it doesn't have a lot of high-tech stuff on it. There's no suspension forks, so there's no seals to blow. There's no oil to leak out, uh, as can happen with suspension forks. Um, I think the only original parts on this bike are the seat post frame and fork. Uh, every other part on this bike has either been uh, changed or upgraded because parts do wear out and I did upgrade to some nicer parts. Um, so today we are going to ride to Hazelwood Lake Conservation Area and uh, we've got some fast downhills we get to go down. Hey, welcome back. I made some changes to the uh, setup of my camera. The chest strap for the GoPro is a really cool idea, very convenient, but the angle, like when I'm hunched over bars, uh, the angle that the camera sits at isn't ideal, it kind of looks down. So when I was going through the instruction manual, I discovered that the camera has a feature where you can mount it upside down, and if you tell the camera that it's been mounted upside down, it basically flips the file over so that when you do download it onto your computer it's already oriented the right way so yeah so the position of the camera even when I'm tucked a little bit more going downhill uh, you'll be able to see better uh, hopefully you guys can't see up my nose that's highway 1117 the main highway across Canada and we're gonna go underneath it Okay, we've got one more really big hill to go up before we get to the gravel downhill. Hello. Nice and cool today. Okay, we're going to get the downhill. I'm going to turn the gravel just up there. Won't go as fast downhill but it takes a little more skill to negotiate it safely and it's dangerous I like danger Of course, we couldn't go balls out because of the corner. There's another little pitch, but it's a sweeping corner all the way. On this kind of loose, gravel graded gravel with washboard, no less. there. It's where the really big hills are. But we're going straight here because we're going to Hazelwood Park or Hazelwood Conservation Area. Okay, we're here. 
Hazelwood Lake Conservation Area. Of course, we got a nice fast downhill to welcome us there. Let's see what we can do on this one. Seven and a half kilometers an hour. Not bad. Of course, we got a big freaking hill afterwards. Nice that we had enough momentum to get us part of the way up. like there I am in the window. Let's go check out the lake. Catch anything yet? Not yet. Anyways, that was the lake. Let's get back on the road. It took uh, 58 minutes to ride out here from my place. Okay, now we got to go back down that hill we just came up. Won't be surprised if we hit a awesome speed. Okay, we're coming up on a nice long downhill. Goes down in steps. Go down, flatten out, down, flatten out, down, flatten out. Should be lots of fun. Come along for the ride.
here. We have to climb another hill. And then we get a long, a couple kilometer long downhill. It's not super steep, but it's long and it's lots of fun. Okay, we're at the top. Huh. Now we get to go down. and all that thrill is done just by you, your power, and gravity. No fossil fuels required. Well, except for maybe the lube for your chain. <laughs> 